Hello everybody, Frankie Day for Frankie Day Models. Okay gentlemen, uh, I got another build I'm finishing up on right now. The topic of the video is, uh, this, it's new on here that I haven't never posted before, even from the builds in the past. I was kind of doing some field day uh, inspections of like unfinished builds that need to be done. Uh, to my horror, I find I have a lot. I, I locked myself into the crutches of Modeler Syndrome. So, to get my money's worth out of these things, they got to be finished up. Other words have become a waste. And uh, I vowed I'll never let them go to waste. Okay, guys, the topic of this here video is uh, the Dumas George uh, W. Washburn Turn of the Century Hudson River Tug, towboat tug. And. Uh, a lot of you guys, some of you guys probably got one of these in your stash. I've seen them before. And uh, I bought this about six years ago. And got about as far as I own it as the hull in the main cabin. And just, uh, and it's not done yet. It's got a lot of work to do. And it will build very fast because it's, uh, it's an, a, an operational boat, model boat. Okay, guys, I've been, this summertime always calls on me all the time for all my outdoor toys activities I like to do. Take my model boats out for a sail, fly my rubber powered airplanes, fly my new control plane, things I used to do when I was a very young man. And I still do today. And I can thank God for that. And uh, so every time summer comes, my toys call on me. So I kind of more or less drifted away from plastic and a lot of other builds for a while until I get my this summer bug out of my system, which would be pretty short, short-lived. I figured my September would be the end of all my outdoor activities. It's summertime, it's outside to enjoy. And it takes me away from the bench for a while and makes me build things that I can take outside and to enjoy in the pond or in the air. So uh, before we show this tug how much I got done on it and, our, and the really history of it, uh, I'd like to thank everybody out there who are on the Facebook that, that for their condolences on my little dog I lost. I lost my little rat terrier, Raleigh. I had him put to sleep last Wednesday. And she, uh, boy, I tell you, I, I cried for about two or three days over that. And my wife is really still down on that. It's like having a kid, fellas, you know? And uh, some people are very negative towards pets because they don't know, they have never had lost before in their life. They had some people say, oh, hell, it's just a dog. You know, a dog, hell, it's a family member. You know, you take something like that and, and nurture it and raise it when it's about four weeks old until the day it dies, like Raleigh did. It's uh, it's part of your family. It's 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 a family member. You use a family member and it hurts right here. And uh, so people like that just kind of I know they get you mad a little bit when they say it's just a dog, but they they don't know lost. And they soon will be, and they'll they'll figure it out from there on. Anyway, I'd like to thank everybody out there for your wonderful condolences on my little dog. And uh, so it'll be a while before we get any more. And it may be, maybe never get another dog again, I don't know. But I know one thing, it'll never replace Raleigh. Raleigh uh, uh, dogs are almost like people in the way. They all have their own personalities and uh, there may be other breeds that look like them. But in their minds and their little hearts, they're not, not the same dog. Pretty much like people. Same difference. Okay. Cut that out. Oh, I'm getting back to this tug right here. Okay, guys, what I've done on this thing, we'll take a picture of it behind me and show you what it looks like on the finished project. This is done by probably Pat Treadle. He's the one to design this boat. There's no hideous drinking water running out of the corn's way. I want to obscure the vision of the view. That's what she look like she gets done. A lot of you guys have probably probably seen this before on uh, modeling pages or shockingly shockingly enough, or not surprisingly enough, no one's ever built this thing before on YouTube as I checked it out. There's only three pages on this. Nothing. Nothing on this. This is the Dumas George W. Washburn Tug. Okay, we'll take a look at the model. As far as I got out of that, fellas, everything just, it comes off. 
I got a lot of work to this thing. I got to plank this here deck. I got to get the pan tail squared away. I got to put the rudder post up, get the rudder hooked up. And I've got a lot of work. The hull will go fast. Not that much to the hull. Not too much at all to this kit in general. I should have this thing done in about 30 days. The hard part's over. It's all been planked. The cabin's all been done. And we'll take a look at some of the detail of this thing, guys. And the only thing that really uh, turned me off on this kit is windows. The DBU windows and simulation form of decals, which is not bad. But with all this detail, I don't know why the love of Lord, the Lord, the love of life of me, they didn't go ahead and laser cut out these windows. Same thing applies to the cabin deck. That pantail is aft by tearing, skylight, final one, two. Okay, we're going to tell all the history about this here tug. The George W. Washburn was launched uh, in 1890. So this is a late 19th century workhouse tug back in the era and that time these tugs used to pull barges full of sand stone rocks anything up and down the Hudson River these are work boats they weren't uh, actually used to push massive ocean liners uh, this thing here is more or less was a was a work tug and more or less pulled barges that was designed for it and she went through a couple modifications throughout her lifetime. She, she was launched in 1890, and I believe in the latter part of the 1930s, she was actually uh, uh, considered obsolete for her time and, uh, and replaceable and with the event of electric and diesel coming in. It replaced the coal. This thing is all coal burning, had two boilers in. The original design of this here, mo of this here model, of this here, of this here tug, only had one funnel on. This was gone. It looked pretty much like that. And the cabin was reduced probably at least down 60 feet. At least uh, 40 feet of this cabin was gone. They extended the cabin and they had another funnel they added on here. The reasons being is because he had another boiler on here. More horsepower more barges they can tow and they found that a lot of people would like to ferry up and down the Hudson River back in the days of the 1890s fellas even even before that in, the, in New England states all coastal states all seaports were riddled with work boats and uh, merchantmen and like and that was the number one transportation of, of hauling goods and materials in that, and throughout the land there were no road systems back in those days, no freeways, no routes, nothing but Indian trails and horse and buggy trails and, and railroad by train. And the railroad system back in those days was very limited to what they could do until they got developed world, uh, countrywide during the late 1940s and, and back into the 1950s. So this thing here primarily worked up and down by the river. Cornell steamship lines had this tug here. And this was a seaship line this thing flew under, all coal. And uh, she's well over 100 feet long. And the model here is a very nice kit. It's all balsa plank and frame construction. And PVC plastic and a lot of good, beautiful fittings. The plans are very simple. And it's a very good little, little, little hobby put on there. I ordered uh, a running gear set for this thing and a six volt Dumas motor. I should be getting that one day this week. Uh, I've been taking a lot of my models out for a, for a sale lately. I've been taking my tug out and everything, and uh, well, so I'm going to show you what I've got, what I've been have going on out there. I got my my portals over there. I did not put that on the side. I put it on the side temporarily, fellas, until I get this thing here done. This the Portland will be a very beautiful winter project. That way, I can get out all my outdoor activities out of the way. There's my Douglas Craig tug. I had that out in the water yesterday. I had a lot of people looking at that bad boy. I had that damn thing for what? 48, 49 years? I bought it in 1970. It's one of the world's first fiberglass manufactured kits ever made. It was by Dwight Hartman of Hartman Fiberglass Company. He built these things and uh, by, by order. And back then, I paid $125 for this thing back in 1970. 
And the $125 I accepted was a very handsome sum of money back then. And of course, the value of the dollar back then went a long way as opposed to how it is now. Okay, right by the start of it, on the deck here, I got two of my tugs. I got the Atlantic 2 and the Atlantic 1. And I go further than that, on top of my still guitar case, a guitar case, I got the, the Bristol Bay trawler back there. I got that shaking. I got that in the water. I've been float all these things. There's a portlet sitting right there. I got the sponson on there, so I got the, the uh, get my face out of the way. I've got the uh, negatives of how much the slides on there, the stills, all the construction is this far. So I'll be hopping that probably so I finished this Georgia, uh, this tug here. Okay, there she is right there when she's finished. And we'll take another fast look. Get my hideous face out of the way. Handsome tug she is. You can tell she's an old ancient tug. That's how they were back in the 1890s, guys. Beautiful looking tugs. And she can be a very pretty tug when I get done with her. Alrighty then, boys. We'll take this camera back to yours truly and get this video all wrapped up. And, uh... I got my pair for work in about an hour. I got to shove, shove off and single up and get on the way and get to work. Roll with the rest of the slaves. And so that's what's on the board right now. I mean, it's, it's too hard for me to concentrate to work on the port and let lose my little dog. So I've been kind of keep my mind off him lately a lot and just doing some spring cleaning around here. And that's why I ran into this. I had no idea I had this thing. I said, what's this of? I said, oh my God. All this time this thing's been there and never had it out. I said, well, it's getting finished now. It's not going to be shoved in the closet and put out about it. It's going to get done. It's going to get in the water. So I got the motor and the running gear ordered for this already. Okay, guys, this wraps up the video. The, the topic of the video is the, the Dumas George W. Washburn work tug of 1890 era. The closing of the 19th century. Okay. Once again, guys, always make Mama happy. Stay focused on the road. Spend wisely. Stay focused. Watch your surroundings. Enjoy your model building. Outdoor activities. Enjoy. Be careful. Be safe. Don't overdo nothing. Build the models. Fly some airplanes. Build some rig control boats or something, or something to keep the mind going for summer activities. Play cornhole dart jarts, or anything that floats your bubble. And uh, so far, this floats my bubble. And uh, you guys take care, and I love you guys very much, and thank you very much, and take care of the babies, and take care of the missus, and take care of yourselves. I'll get back to the comments that you guys have been posting. I've just been out of it for a couple of days, so I'll get back to the latter videos and start commenting. Thank you guys. God love you guys. Break your day out of here. And the next video is going to be, of course, the George Andrew Washburn Tug. Video number two. Bye boys.